going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Spinach, and I'm a Smash player for Def Esports. This right, well, yeah, right, yeah, right, top tier. That was just insane. Dude. Each uh, and Wario, who? What? Whoa. Welcome to our YouTube channel. So, like I said, my name is Spinach. I'm with Def Esports. I'm a Smash player for Ultimate for them, and I'm in Sun and Belma. I'm from the state of Alabama, and I'm one of our top players there. So today, I just got a little bit of a Q&A going on. Gonna tell you a little bit about myself. If you'd like to see more of what we do here on this channel, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, that's kind of your thing. And hey, we're gonna dive right in. See, the big thing is that I've always wanted to be part of an organization like this because, you know, it's kind of like a good milestone for players like myself to kind of get into. It kind of helps to brand yourself and all that stuff. So when they approached me after I did really well at a regional in my states, I was really interested right away. I was like, let me look and do a little bit of research. Let me see what you're all about. And, you know, they're really honest, really friendly, and I've been happy to say I'm a part of them since then. You know, it's just, they've been helping me out wherever they can, and, you know, I rep them when I can. So number one, obviously, the character I'm most known for, Simon Belmont. I love Castlevania. I love Simon in this game. He just feels so fun for me. Uh, the next character, honestly, it's a character that a lot of people may not expect, but Cloud. I don't play Cloud pretty much at all, but I just love him so much. Uh, he was my main in Smash 4. I played him all through then. I'm a huge fan of the Final Fantasy series. Uh, so he's just a character. He, his announcement was probably the most hype I've ever been for this game. And third character, unashamedly, <laughs> is Hero. <laughs> I love him for all the wrong reasons. He is fun for all the wrong reasons, but he is so much fun. Also, I play a few Dragon Quest games, so that kind of helps. I like to keep things light, keep things simple. If I eat anything too heavy, I'm gonna feel lazy for the rest of the day. So go-to breakfast is easily something like a toasted bagel with cream cheese. Simple as that. You know, a little bit of sugar on the bagel, maybe some uh, cinnamon. Just keep it nice and simple like that. It's kind of my style. Drink plenty of water is obviously something a lot of people will tell you. I'm a huge fan of that myself. <laughs> course. Uh, I try to eat something light. Play, 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 I try to play as many friendlies as I can to warm my hands up. Try to get all that gunk out of me so I'm just like ready for tournament. Get all those things. This, I have this weird thing where there's so many weird setups I want to do in a tournament that are really bad and so I'll do those in friendlies just to get that satisfaction out of me. So when I come to a tournament I'm like okay optimal stuff is all that's on my mind. <laughs> so that's kind of stuff I like to do. There's a lot of places I want to go to, obviously, or not really obviously, but my number one option is Sicily in Italy. It's just the culture there, the kind of like the landscape, the look of everything, that whole feeling of like, kind of like small towny fishing village sort of thing is something I'm just a, I'm just a huge fan of. Food obviously is another big reason they got some, they got really good food. <laughs> so that would definitely be my dream spot to go down to Sicily and just, drive along the countryside or something like that. It just sounds so beautiful. That's a hard question because without Smash, I wouldn't be as big into fighting games as I am now. Uh, so if I was still into fighting games or like if Smash didn't exist and I decided to pick up fighting games, I would definitely be a Tekken player. I don't play Tekken actually, which is the funny part, but I can easily see myself getting into Tekken because it's technical, it's challenging. And it's like well, it's super hype and it's really, really fun to watch. If I didn't play a fighting game, it would probably be something like League of Legends. Because <laughs> that's the only other one I could think of, to be honest. I'm really bad at first person shooters. Do not put me in one of those games. <laughs> that's a tough question because I would really like to do something like invest all of that, but that's probably not an option in this kind of question. I gotta go for like the more fun answer. <laughs> uh, obviously buy a really good gaming PC. That, that'd be the first thing I do. Buy the most expensive gaming PC I can, like five monitors or something like that. Slap that all together and call it a day. <laughs> buy every game I want on Steam. Just buy like your subscriptions for all these different MMOs I want to play. Just <laughs> spend so much on that. I would still probably be left with like 98 grand or something like that. So <laughs> next up would probably be like a car maybe? <laughs> If not that, then uh, hey, I'll just book myself a vacation and buy like every expensive thing I can go over to Sicily. Hey, like I said, spend like a month or so there. As for all the rest of money, like I said, if I can't invest it all or do anything like that, I'm going to buy the dumbest stuff I can. Buy JoJo figures, 
by just anything that really strikes my fancy. <laughs> so this question kind of leads me to do two different areas. Would I want to change like the community? Is that what this question goes for? Or would I want to change something in the game itself? If, if it was something in the game itself, it would easily be making smaller characters bigger because I hate short characters. I hate when I throw out a move and a character avoids it just by holding forward because they're short and I'm like, oh man, that that's, I'm like, come on, that's not fun. You're literally just going under my move. Come on, man. If you were like a tall character and you crouched it, that would be more impressive, but a short character just holding forward and avoiding something because they're short, mm, doesn't sit right with me. Oh, this is a fun story I always like to tell people because there's not a story about it. It was a move of desperation is how I chose my name. When I first got, uh, when my university first got Smash 4 for our game room, I needed to come up with a name uh, quickly. I needed to come up with a tag because everybody had a tag. Everybody had something like that. And I was like, okay, I need to pick a name. What am I going to pick? Uh, I just had a sandwich, I had spinach in it. I'll go with spinach. I'll think of something better later. I'll change it then. I never thought of anything better. It's been like that forever. <laughs> That's a hard one because I love every single one of his moves with a passion. If I had to choose one, uh, it would probably be Holy Water. The move just enables so much. It controls neutral. Yeah, it's slow. Yeah, it's kind of punishable if they're close. But when I land it and it hits somebody and they're not fire, I'm like, I could literally do anything. It's the most satisfying experience ever. That's how I hope you guys learned everything you can from me. Uh, my Twitter is at EXSpinach. Obviously, you know, follow at EX Esports as well. Follow both of us, you know. I retweet everything I find funny. I'm just an endless cavalcade of memes coming from my side. But uh, hey, you know, let us know what member you want to see on here next uh, and ask them some questions. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell if that's your thing. And our merch is in the link description below. And I hope to see you guys cheering me on to the next tournament I'm at, which they uh, retweet those tournaments over at Def Esports. So give them a follow, cheer me on, root me on, and hey, I'll do the same for you. Have a good night or day. You know what? Just be good.